Hey team, in this video covering AI tips, we're going to discuss the topic of coding, and more specifically the concept of vibe coding, which means using AI and LLM tools to assist in building coding solutions. Coding is a complex topic, but in this video we will cover how you can use the world of coding languages with the aid of LLMs like ChatGPT and other tools to build solutions for your career and personal needs. Using these AI and LLM resources, we will cover using these tools to quickly build and edit websites, training simulations, and other tools. Let's jump in. To start off our topic, I want to cover the basics around HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, which make up the three components most often used in websites. You can think of HTML as the bones of your website. So if I disable CSS and JavaScript, you can see all that's left is the text hover here. And I can change this text to hello, and that'll update the preview. Re-enabling CSS adds all of the style to the website you currently have. This covers things like color, width, height, and background of objects. So you'll see, for example, if I change the width of this card to only 30 pixels, that gets updated in the preview but I'll change that back for now. You'll notice that if I hover over this button, nothing currently happens. And that's because we haven't yet enabled JavaScript, which you can think of as the interactivity of your website. So if I check mark this button, you can see now when I hover over the card or any direction within this preview, we get a nice interactive element. So now let's get into the fun stuff. Using a free tool like ChatGPT or other LLMs, you can use a simple prompt like the one you see here, it will also be in the description, to generate website code. Let's see what this returns for us. And check it out, within just a few moments, ChatGPT generated over 500 lines of code for a website. One easy way to test out how this will look, as well as make changes, is that you can open Notepad, select File, and save as, and then you can save this as an HTML file by adding that HTML suffix at the end. After clicking save, I can simply copy my code from up here, paste that into Notepad and save this as well. And then if I go to where the file was saved and double click, the site that ChatGPT created is live for me. And you can see starting off with just that simple prompt, we have a great starting point for our site. Now this is where vibe coding comes in. I could manually change the code for the website and sometimes that's the best way to take action. But I could also add a new prompt so that we ask for the explore services button to become a hover menu that displays the services offered underneath. So I'll input this in. And after a few moments, ChatGPT has returned new code to me. So let's copy this, replace our existing code and save, and then we can reload the site. You maybe notice on the site, not a lot has changed, but the Explore Services button is a little bit smaller. Let's see what happens when I hover. So you can see now the different services that the company offers appear for me just as I requested. And I could always manually change the height of the button if I'd like it to be the same as get started next to it. Something else I want to point out is that if you have access to free tools like VS Code, you can use the chat LLM function within this program to make more targeted edits to the code you have. So for example, if I'd like to change these gray and white colors, I can highlight them. You'll see VS Code is pointing out which rows I've highlighted. I can then ask the chat feature here for a request, and then VS Code will show me its suggestions. And from here, I can actually select this button to integrate it directly into my working code. After it's done, I can select Keep, and my change has been made. Now let's take a look at some other tools you can build using this method. For this task, I'm gonna use an online app called Emergent. What's great about this tool is you can connect it directly to your GitHub repository if you have one to make changes to your live site. 
But for this example, I've worked on a more extensive prompt because what I want to generate is a training simulation for call center employees. So I'll enter that in and let's see what the tool comes up with. Once the agent is done, you can find your code by selecting code, make sure to copy this password, and then select open in browser. Enter the password here and click submit. From here, we can obtain all the code for the call center training simulation. Just like we did before, copy it into Notepad, and then we can launch the site. I want to also call out that for this example, I use the generic training platform. But if you're trying to match to a specific platform, like this one here, in terms of color, spacing, and style, you can take a screenshot of that program and simply drag and drop it into the emergent prompt in order for your training environment to match. What this simulation shows is how to authenticate and chat with customers contacting our center. So first I'll select a client. You can see their information populates on the right and the customer has sent me a response. So first I'll select security greeting cause I need to authenticate them and I'll send that over. Customer's okay to continue so I can ask for date of birth and send that. And you'll see the customer provides that information. I can also manually type in the question. I don't have to use these buttons. I can send this over. And now that I have the information I need, I can select verify identity. I'll type in the date of birth and the mother's maiden name, and I can get last four of social from the right. Now I can select verify customer. And you can see that's been completed correctly and the customer is okay to proceed. So you can see from even this small example, there's a lot of great things you can do with coding languages and LLMs and AI can assist you in getting this done quickly. One of the other things you can do is make sure this content is randomized so those in training can continue learning. So if I refresh the page, you'll see the customer names have changed. I have different clients with different banking account information. Another sample training I created is how to use the VLOOKUP function in Excel. To just walk through the first few steps, we'll add in some sample data. You'll see it's now asking me to double click within this cell, and then I need to type equals VLOOKUP, and the steps continue from there. I hope you enjoyed these tips today. Please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos.